Hello guys and welcome to the Arcarium. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited because we are delving down into the depths. Uh, that's right, we're going to be sort of building off down towards here. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much we're going to get done today. I've been away for a few days and I'm kind of having to kind of rush to get this uh, this kind of done. So um, what the, the idea was, was to do the Megalodon Shark Tunnel. Uh, I think that's what a lot of people are looking forward to. I really want to get that done today, but I really want it down low and uh, there's an area just over here which looks really really good and i really want to get down to the ground i think like the rest of the um enclosures i really would like to get deeper into the water uh but we are quite high up here still so i think we need to go down so i think what we're going to do is spend this episode um building a kind of a transport tunnel to come down onto the ground and there's also something else i think i might just build up in this little area here um some facilities and some toilets and things that'd be quite an interesting thing uh so people can go to the toilet before going down into the depths um just after they've been to uh, the the restaurant oh yeah which i did just uh improve the outer uh, the restaurant it's now called the undersea diner uh now this is what we built the last episode now i i i, I just left it with just this basic opening so all i've done is i built this wall around i put the signs up and i put the um some some uh, plants on the outside so just to remind you if you didn't see last episode oh we need to drain this uh drain all connected this is the restaurant that we built last time out so you have tables and chairs uh, all the way around the outside we've got these uh coelacanth and salmon uh aquariums there we also have our saber tooth salmon enclosure in the middle here we've got a couple there there's another one there's another one down there a few uh, a few saber tooth sums in there now i can't get them to move around unfortunately um the the enclosure i've built is too small to use the uh the flag system which i did try and do there is a flag in there I should probably take that out at some point but um yeah it's just too small i can't get them far enough apart and i don't think they uh, would really follow them anyway it, we are having trouble getting them to follow the flags in the first place and i can't put them on wandering uh so they're, they're just going to have to kind of uh, stay like that unfortunately um right but yes yeah, so we've got tables and we've got uh there's bits of food on the tables and we also have the restaurant uh where you can uh, buy your food so we've got a uh, selection of uh let's get rid of this selection of desserts there and there's some bread and um stuff that you can buy and and uh have yourself a bit of a carvery so yeah so that's what we did last time out but this time we're going to be building oh fog i really need to disable the fog on this server i haven't actually done that yet we're going to be building um a kind of a tunnel going down i'm wondering whether i'll be able to get uh, an elevator working so people can actually go down the elevator i'm not too sure whether they work under the water um but it might worth be worth uh, trying out to see whether it does work uh but what i do want to do while we're up here uh, let me see if i do i have some ceilings yeah i do let's grab those let's put them there uh, we need to kind of build a platform out coming out this way so we're going to build some toilets um now hopefully we can get this kind of figured out okay we'll try and get this done i'll build the uh the platform here it's kind of i thought you know a decent kind of area where we can actually get underneath um the shelter and it's kind of a ready-made uh, building here and it's kind of uses this space up so we'll, we'll do it all along here not sure how big we actually really need to go but we might as well do some posh toilets you know it's probably an expensive place to come and visit you know charge from tickets all uh, right so that's uh we might as well build all the way across we don't have to use the whole thing we may need to come out a little bit further as well maybe one more that might be a good idea so we'll come out a little bit further along here and um I'll try. Now, as I know, I did build some toilets in the uh, the zoo, and I never really did get them uh, looking quite right. So uh, I'm going to grab the bits and pieces that I need, and we'll see if we can get this figured out. Okay, so uh, what I've done um, is the toilets are going to be running all the way along the back line here. So I've placed in uh, an intersection at the back here, kind of lined up as best I can, um, and uh, the toilets will connect to it. And I've placed intersections going all the way along the out at the back there so we should be able to connect up toilets to every single one and i think i've done a pretty reasonable job at getting them lined up okay so uh that's kind of what we've got all the way along there um now uh, we'll need to put in uh, a wall uh, at the back there there we go that's fine um and then of course uh individual cubicles so we're going to want a wall in between each one i guess 
So uh, that looks pretty good. And then we need doorways on the front there. So I think what we'll need to do is try and build. Um, I think actually what we probably will do is come out one more uh, here. Make sure that's lined up in the right place. That's not in the right place. We'll just take that. Uh, so what we want is that one, I think. So that lines up. That looks better. Yeah. And then we'll have a. We'll probably. A, oh, I guess we could extend out a bit further along here. And yes, we'll need a doorway in a little bit further. The walkway comes out along here. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this. Uh, I've figured out in my mind exactly how I want this to look. Uh, but I guess we might as well just go all the way along. Oh, that's not where I want that. Connect to there. Connect to there. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. I think I got that lined up pretty nicely. Okay, so we're going to, have to separate them out to uh, male or female toilets and yeah, why not? Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get this looking a bit better. I'll come back in a moment. Okay guys, uh, yeah, this is, is harder than I thought actually. <laughs> it's quite tricky to get done. Uh, basically, we're going to be putting on um, the doors like this and like that and then inside each cubicle I've got the lovely little shelf which we're going to put on the wall so about here. This contains the toilet roll and some nice uh, plants to make it look nice and, and some maybe that's some like deodorant or something. I don't know what it is. It's something nice. So that's what we're going to do for each cubicle. So I've done one here already. Um, but the thing is, the annoying thing is, as I don't have, uh, I don't have any sinks. There's nothing in Ark which look like a sink or, or if there is, I can't think of it right now. Um, and also, these walls are incredibly difficult to put on. Uh, they actually need to go. No, so that's 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 wrong. Um, yes, yeah, so it just they just want to snap to the, uh, the ceiling above, which is most annoying. What's that saying? I wonder whether I, if I fly up here, maybe I can get a different angle on it. Maybe that'll make it easier. No, see, it just does not want to snap where I tell it to. Uh, oh, here, oh, there we go. That's where I want it. No, it's still gone wrong. So uh, yeah, it's it's a frustrating process. It really, really is. And no, it's it's just not snapping where the uh, things are. So that's where I want it. And no, so uh, even though the uh, hologram is there, it's not snapping where I want it to. So I'm gonna have to keep on going until I get it right. But that's basically what we're doing here. So uh, at least I can put the doors on, and that's not too much problem. Uh, the doors will snap to the right place, no problem at all. And we'll need a, a wall here. Uh, let's put the wall in. That's fine. That's in the wrong place. That's where we want it. Okay, so that that's okay. And then the doors go on, no problem at all. So it's a, it's a shame that those look so rusty. It'd be nice if they were if the uh, metal stuff or actually I'm using metal, aren't I? Oh yes, of course, because tech uh, tech uh, door frames will only accept tech doorways, as far as I can tell, which is the the problem I had over here. I wanted the tech door frame, but I had to put in a tech door frame and a metal door frame to get the the metal doors in. So yeah, that's why I'm using metal. Okay, and then we have another one over here as well, which I need to do. Is, uh, so what one's male, one's female? Um, now the problem is these walls and sinks. I don't have any sinks, but what I can do, I'm wondering whether I could maybe rig up some pipes so that we at least have some taps coming through. Um, and we could, we could, I've got some mirrors. I mean, we can get some nice little kind of mirrors going along here. I kind of wanted um, like this. Although it's a shame that they, when they first released these mirrors, you could see a reflection in them, but then something broke. And uh, since then, they just they haven't fixed it and you can't actually see your reflection in them anymore. Which is a bit of a shame because they don't really look like mirrors anymore. Yeah, so I don't even know if I want them. Well, I guess we could. I guess we could put them in there. But uh, yeah, but the little shelves that we've got are really nice. Um, so they're good. We'll put those in. Um, and I wonder whether I could get some taps or at least you could try and wash your hands. Oh, the, the troubles. No, I mean, I could install more mods that had more decorative stuff. I didn't particularly want to do that because, I mean, that would take time. I would have to... Maybe we could come back to this another time. We've got the, if I get the basics here, maybe we can finish it and furnish it in the next episode and maybe I'll install another mod to actually get a proper bathroom going. I think that might be worth doing. That might be worth doing, but at least you can kind of see what I'm going for here. So I could get done what I, what I can do. 
and then we can move on to the uh, the next step which will be going deeper down under the water with uh, maybe an elevator or some kind of uh, some kind of transport device that we can go down there so yeah maybe I'll do all right I'll do the the best I can with this section and then we'll move on to the next step that sounds like a plan okay so let me just show you what we've done so far so I've just put on I managed to get all the walls on uh, took took a little while but I did manage to get it done all the doors are on and then every cubicle we have a toilet and we have the shelf um, now what I'm going to do is going to leave the mirrors and, and the think sinks and things until I can figure out whether or not I want to uh, install another mod. I did see a mod that was uh, specifically tailored to bathroom equipment, which may be quite good. I mean, if I'm going to do this, I want to do it properly. So maybe we'll have that, maybe we won't. But whatever, we'll leave the rest of that until next time. Um, then I've also got another one over here with this, exactly the same. So we're all the walls in and the shelves and the toilets all in there. So that's the toilets for now. Um, but now what I'm working on is this area right here. So um, I'm putting in an elevator. Now this is um, as a medium elevator. Uh, though I didn't look like I had access to any smaller elevators. Um, if I do elevator what we've got here so oh there is a small one um I'm not sure I think about when I did that before let's have a look just have a look at the uh, the small one uh, S plus small elevator maybe that might be a bit better how big is this one so that's just kind of because uh, the thing is it's just frustrating that it's not central and um, I can't you know, it's just not it's not quite right. Let's just pick this up for a moment then. Pick up the medium elevator platform. And what happens if we put in a small one? So that is just one. So that again is I mean it's not central. I guess I could potentially put in two either side. So we could have potentially one going up, one going down. That might be interesting. I wonder actually, you know what? Right, let's just get this. Oh no. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't use uh, the S plus guns on these things. Um, right, let's take this up for a moment. We'll pick this up. So if I put a track in on this side and another one, let's take up these uh, ceilings. Oh, oh no, I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Can I get out? Not there. Okay, I did put a ramp in here just in case of emergencies. Let's try get 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 out here. Right. Okay, so that's, uh, oh yeah, so there's no tech um, vacuum compartment underneath this. But we'll pick up that ceiling. And I guess what we want to do is we need to put in some vacuum compartments there. Is that right? Does that look right? Something about that doesn't look quite right. Let's pick up these. Pick up the tech ceilings, pick up that tech ceiling. Okay, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. So what we're going to do is put in a track there. So on opposite corners. That would that would work, I think. So then what we can do is place the uh, small one there. And another small one here. We'd need to open up the top porthole on this one. Oh, careful, don't fall in. Yeah, that works. And then we'd need to do this to, f to fill up the gaps I think this could work like this and like this so I mean I do have vacuum compartments there I don't necessarily need it but I feel like that would probably be best if I did so we'll have that there we'll open up all these oh no oh, I feel like that is not connected properly let's see if I can get this here we go. So that's all, all opened up. And then we want another one here. Uh, I, I can't access it. Oh, so frustrating. Um, okay, I'm going to play about with this. I might well just get rid of these and then start again maybe. That might just work. But yeah, but that could work. And then what we're going to do is, is have vacuum compartments going all the way down to uh, the, the, the sea floor. And then hopefully that'll work. Let me see if I can get it to work and uh, I'll join you back in a moment. Okay, so I am I'm getting there. It's it's uh it's weird. It's not quite working out how it is, but I have to admit I hardly well, I don't think I've ever really built an elevator properly. I mean, I know I did a couple in the zoo, but they were really fairly simple uh things. This uh, is a little bit more tricky because um well, it's going underwater for a start. 
Um, but yeah, but I'm not hugely competent with the, with these things, so I am having um, a fair bit of trouble. That's not where I wanted that. Uh, I'll pick up. So yeah, we're going. It's quite going to be quite a long elevator ride uh, down to the bottom. Um, and it's definitely proving to be a little bit tricky. So anyway, we're going to go down as far as we can. And you can see exactly how far we're going down. <laughs> it's, it's a long way. It's a long way to the bottom. But I feel like this is where I need to, to be now for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the build. I mean, we'll come up, I think, um, for the... Let me think. The Mosasaur Arena will definitely be... Um, and on the surface and again that'll be similar to the icky thing that we did uh, a few episodes ago um, but the rest of them I think we're going to want sort of fairly deep down so I can actually use the the landscape to the best of its uh, ability um, and actually you know use the decoration of it I think it'll look really quite good but uh, to do that we need to go all the way down to the bottom and it's really not very easy there we go so that's about that's about where we want to go. Oh, it's going to be so difficult. Okay, yeah, so anyway, you're going to have to leave me to it because there's quite a lot of building to do to try and get this to work. All right, guys, uh, here I am at the bottom. So, oh, this is very, very tricky. Um, this is as far down as it will go, so I don't quite get uh, exactly what is happening. You have to kind of jump onto the other uh, platform. Um, but we can uh, go all the way up. So if I um, elevate it, here we go. So it's a very slow ride, but that's fine because you want to kind of be enjoying the scenery as you're going down. So I'm okay with the kind of the speed that it would take. I mean, we're obviously not going to be using it too much uh, here in the series, but this is all for kind of roleplay purposes, I suppose. Um, it's a long way. <laughs> it's a long way up. I tried to put in um, a, a stop because, I'll, well, I'll show you when we get to the top. There's a bit of an issue with how far up it goes, and I'm not entirely sure why why it does that, but um, I'll show you when we get there. So I've kept the uh, the central divide uh, between the two. There's going to be obviously another elevator on the other side coming down. Now I'm thinking this could be very dangerous. You could easily walk off that. So I guess what I could do is put in some uh, glass walls going all the way down. Oh, God, there's so much building just for something so little, really. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it's even worth doing, but well, we'll see how we go. But anyway, we're getting we're getting closer to the top, and I'll show you exactly uh, the problem that I have. Is it get, this goes up too far, um, so you kind of uh, get squashed in the ceiling. I think I've taken out the ceiling on this one. I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one I did, uh, but well, we'll see when we get there. And uh, we're still I still need to go further down as well because uh, we kind of reached the uh, the cliff edge, but uh, where I actually want to get to is just a little bit further down. I guess that's the way we could use um, some steps that would be quicker. Uh, but we're almost at the top now. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Um, but there's not too much to see, to be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of nice. You can look out into the ocean and hopefully see some things. Once once we start building down there, there'll be definitely things to be looking at. Have the ichthys there. And here we go. So we're out. And uh, it keeps on going right to the top. And then we end up, we are actually kind of uh, crushed in here. Um, that's why I have to crouch down. So you see, it goes all the way up to there, and I'm not entirely sure why it does that. And we then have to stop it. Uh, we have to de-elevate it and then stop it again. That's just there. That would be perfect. Yeah. So I don't know. If anyone has any experience with using elevators, give me some tips because I say I've hardly ever used them, and I'm having real trouble with it. Now the the other problem I had is this one got kind of demolished. Um, so I have to kind of rebuild it. But uh, let's put that in there. So that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to stop. Um, but does it do that? No, it doesn't. If I, actually, if I add stop, so that will be the stop that we add. So obviously that will elevate and then de-elevate. Okay, that kind of works. And then what we need to do, dive into the water again. And then we kind of do this. We can go all the way down. It takes absolutely forever to do this. 
That's about as far as we can go. Let's just, let's just check this out now. Uh, I need to climb up my ramp. Um, shuffle around here. Okay, so if we do this, it's going to elevate. But So if we get to bottom, if we do zero. No. Oh, use number pad. Here we go. Okay, so that's going down. So I just put a few in. It's doing okay. Uh, it stops here. So we go to the, the top. Or maybe we do it with number one. And that should take us up to where we want to go. Well, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see where we stop. No, so that goes... What? <laughs> oh, man. Why does it go this high up? I guess what I could do is... Well, we'll have it like that. Where maybe we'll get rid of these vacuum compartments. Um, and just have like a steps to go up there, maybe? I guess. Let's have a look. If I put in that there... That would kind of work. And then we have... Uh, no, some ramps. Oh god, sorry about this. This is, uh, this is so confusing trying to work out exactly how this stuff works. Here we go. So we put in the ramps. So we come up here and you get on onto this part. Okay. So we'll do like this. So we get on. And we go down. And then we go up. Okay, I guess that would work. I guess, you know, that looks alright, I suppose. So I guess we should do the same with, with this. We go up to the top. So that will stop there. That will be the same the same place. Oh, okay, I'm stuck again. Let's, let's do this. So what we want to do, um, I've got this kind of handy little gun here, which we want to open mode. So we can actually open the roof. That's just flooded everything, I guess. And I'll tell you what we want to do. We want to close close the back. I think would work. Maybe we should open those two as well. I'll have this kind of open. We might not even need them to be honest. Maybe I'll build an extra one on top. So let's see how this works. So then what we want to do is we do. But look at that. That's that's different. That's even higher. Why? Uh, okay, tell you what, let's, um, if we pick up the platform, we kind of start this one again, right? So if we put on, <laughs> sorry you're having to kind of work through this with me, but I'll uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, let's put a small elevator platform, that's one we want. So that goes there, and then what we do is we add stop. Remove stop. So it's already got stop here. Okay, if we elevate it to the top. But that's higher. Why is it higher? <gasps> what is going on? I have no idea about this at all. Let's just put the uh, the ramp on. No. Oh dear, this is not working out at all. Come on. Doesn't want to snap. <laughs> well, at least this one works. Maybe I'll just keep this one. Get rid of that one. I don't know. But, oh. Uh, okay. Well, what I'm going to do then, since we're running out of time now, I'm just going to put a couple of finishing touches to the way it looks on the outside here. And then I think we'll probably call it a day for now because it's, I'm beginning to get frustrated. This is a bit, oh, this is a terrible episode. I do apologise. This hasn't worked out exactly how I wanted it at all. Um, man, building these is so difficult. That just make, that makes no logical sense whatsoever. Why is that, that one goes up there, that's perfect. But this one, look at that. Yeah, please give me some tips in the comment section. Um, okay, but anyway, just give me a few more minutes just to get some finishing touches here. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we go. It looks pretty cool from here, even though it's not, it's not quite finished and it's not quite working right.
but I'm going to need to to really work out exactly what is going on with these elevators. Why this one goes up higher than this one does? Maybe it's something to do with the snap point on the uh, the back there for the the railings. I I can't tell. So uh, yeah, give me some help for that one. But we place some plants about to make it look nice, and I've called it to the depths. And this is where we're going to lead on to the uh, the next enclosures. So I'm sorry I haven't done an actual enclosure this episode. Um, I was I was thinking about it, but um. Uh, we need to go down deeper and to do that I need to build this and it's taken uh, a long time it doesn't look like much it really doesn't look like much just a few uh, well, a few a lot <laughs> going down in there a lot of vacuum compartments I've had to open up all of them uh, build this uh, elevator rail all the way down I still need to build the other one because that kind of broke um, and then we need to expand out from there so we can go down that we can do like a hopefully the next time out we'll do the Megalodon tunnel. I think that's what I would like to do um, or maybe we'll do, oh, I don't know actually, because the Megalodon Tunnel I'd like to sort of do maybe a bit further out there. This area could be quite nice for maybe um, the Basilosaurus possibly. Something like that could be good. But uh, yeah, the, we've got some options anyway. But yeah, but this is going down into the depths. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, well, I, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, even though it's been a little bit of a weird one. Um, I really didn't accomplish what I wanted to accomplish, but you know the, these kind of things. You know we need to get the uh, the work done to be able to uh, progress onto the fun stuff. So uh, I hope you'll forgive me for that. But um, yeah, join me back next week then, uh, and we'll do uh, we'll do an enclosure. I'll make sure I get an enclosure done next time. But uh, yeah, anyway, that will do for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time out. Uh, I'll see you next Saturday. Goodbye.